Welcome to Wildlife Wanderings. I'm Andrew Wegener. I love to get out in the outdoors into nature to see what we can find. Whether it's in a local park, down here at the beach, or in a nature reserve, or even overseas. It's great to see what we can find that God's made for us, and we're going to see what we can find down here today at the reef. Let's go and have a look. Now, I've been finding lots of things in the rock pools, but this is a beautiful little fish, but something you really don't want to swallow if you're a seal or even a human for that matter, because it's not going to do you any good. Have a look at this. Just got to catch it first. It's one of the, um, the toadfish, or the smooth toadfish, which is found around most parts of Australia. Highly venomous if you eat it, but uh, one of those beautiful little creatures, really, you see in a rock pool. And you'll notice the nice camouflage, the colours on the top and on the side. But it's one of those creatures that sometimes annoys fishermen when they catch them because um, they know they can't take them home and eat them. But often they'll take your bait. But you'll see them in the rock pools around here, but yeah, look at them, learn about them. But other creatures too know not to swallow them because they're highly toxic. One of those creatures that it's best to look at, certainly don't try to eat it, but rather cute in a way. Check out those beautiful eyes, big green eyes. We'll pop it back where she should be, back in a little pool and the tide will be in soon and she'll be swimming off out there and looking for her mates. Here we go. Something else we've just discovered underneath a rock, we've got some creatures called chitons. They look like slaters of the ocean, but they're not. They're actually related to the snails in your garden and the slugs and the other sea snails we're seeing today. You'll notice armour plating all the way around that God's given them. Great protection. Nothing is going to hurt that at all. It's just so tough. And as it moves about on this rock surface, it's feeding on the algae or the seaweed growth and the other bits of debris that's underneath this rock. And there's a couple of different types here, a couple of smaller ones. And as they move about, it's like a bit like a slug, one big foot. If we're very careful, sometimes you can actually get them off. That one's a bit tough. No, let's see if we can get this one off carefully. Here we are. Underneath here, you'll notice the, the big foot. It's got its mouth down the bottom here. And when they're actually washed up on the beach and they die, you get those bits of shell just lying in amongst the sand and amongst all the other shells, and people often wonder what they are. It's starting to curl up now to protect its soft part of its body. You watch, it'll just close up, a bit like an armadillo. Pop it back. 